Yep. Hi, and welcome to Audubon at Home. My name is Iana, this is Franklin, and this is Peggy the Stegosaurus. Today we are talking about dinosaurs and turtles and what they have in common. So Peggy here is a puppet, as you might have figured, because stegosauruses are no longer around, but they used to roam the earth. You may notice she has three horns, and she has some funny spots all over her body. She also has a tail. Franklin is a box turtle. Box turtles are native and wild animals that live right here in Rhode Island. You will often see them in the spring and the summer wandering around looking for food. You might notice that Franklin also has a tail, just like Peggy and they have the same number of feet. They have four feet. They are quadrupedal, which means they have four feet. We are bipedal, we only have two feet. It's half as many. Turtles, like Franklin, have a really hard shell on the top of their body that protects them from predators. Peggy doesn't have that, but she does have those horns I mentioned, which would probably help her scare away anything that might want to eat her. For a long time, people thought that dinosaurs were reptiles. Turtles are reptiles, and so are snakes and a lot of other creatures. And reptiles are cold-blooded, but they also have scales on their body. You might be able to see on Franklin's arm. You can see his scales there. We did learn after a while that dinosaurs are not actually reptiles, and they're much more closely related to birds which is really interesting since we do still have birds around today. They're kind of like the modern dinosaur, but they do have things in common with reptiles. They were thought to have scales as well to protect them from danger and from things in the environment that might scratch them or hurt them. Something else that reptiles, dinosaurs, and birds all have in common is that they all lay eggs. People do not lay eggs. We are mammals, so we have live birth. But all of these other creatures do lay eggs. And turtle eggs are a little different from bird eggs. They're not as hard, they're a little bit squishy. Kind of like if you made an egg out of paper mache. That's what a turtle egg feels like. Dinosaur eggs are a lot more similar to a bird egg with a nice hard outer shell. And we think that they probably laid their eggs in a nest like a bird does while turtles dig a hole and they bury their eggs underground. While there are a lot of differences between turtles and dinosaurs, turtles have been a around for a very, very long time. We don't know exactly how long they've been around, and they have a lot of things in common that have helped them survive for so long, just like the dinosaurs did. Now we're gonna talk more about Frank and turtles. So we're gonna say goodbye to our friend Peggy, and thanks for stopping by. Maybe we'll see her again in the future. Frank used to be somebody's pet, but they couldn't take care of him anymore because turtles live a very long time. We don't know how old Franklin is. We know he's an adult and that he is fully grown, but he has been with us for a long time. He could live to be 80 years old. Turtles live a very long life. If you're wondering what Franklin likes to eat, well, he is a forest turtle. He's a box turtle, like I said before, so they live on dry land, unlike a lot of other turtles that spend most of their time in the water. And in the forest, he would th find things like worms, fruit, uh, berries and seeds, even plants. He'd eat whatever he could find. He is an omnivore, which means he eats a little bit of everything. Here at the Audubon Society, we feed him fresh fruit. We feed him lettuce and other greens. We also give him some special nutritious turtle food some fish, maybe a frozen mouse every now and then as a treat, or we'll go and dig up a worm for him. And he loves all of those things. If you take a close look at Franklin's coloring, you can see that he might kind of look like a rock if he held still, which he's not doing right now. But if he hid inside that shell, he would blend in really well with a rock in the forest. All of his orange and yellow colors might help him blend in with a pile of leaves in the fall. And you can even take a close look at his really cool red eyes. Male eastern box turtles have red eyes and the females have a darker brown eye. So we know that he is a boy. A lot of people wonder if turtles can leave their shells and go exploring elsewhere or look for a new shell to live inside of. 
They cannot. Turtles are attached to the shell. Their shell is part of their body. Their spine actually goes through the top of their shell. His shell is actually made out of bone and it connects to his spine. So that is why he can never leave his shell. Thank you for joining us for Audubon at Home.